What's up, St. John's? It's your girl, Courtney. Liz isn't here this week because she's still on vacation at the time of this recording, but we have a lot of exciting events coming up for this week. So without further ado, this is The Bulletin. Let's get started. Career Services is hosting the last tips and treats this semester on Monday, April 17th from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. The topic of the event is job searching tips. So make sure to attend that event if you're interested in learning about that information. It's great, so make sure to attend. Join MCSO, OMA, and MSA on Monday from 7 to 9 p.m. for Ramadan Iftar in Kiran Suite. Middle Eastern food will be served and of course all are welcome to attend. Use the link in their Instagram bios to register for the event. On Thursday, April 20th, during Common Hour, LMA and Student Life are hosting an Asian Pacific Island Festival, featuring foods from all around Asia and the Pacific Islands region. There'll be henna art, Hawaiian and Polynesian dance performances, a bubble tea station, photo booth, arts and crafts, and more. So make sure to register using the link in the LMA Instagram bio. SGI and English Club are collabing to host a plant and poetry event to celebrate Earth Day. The date and information about the event are currently TBD, so make sure to stay updated by checking the English Club's Instagram account at English Club STJ. Gamma Ada is holding a clothing drive where everyone can donate used or new clothing to those in need. DM Gamma Ada on Instagram at Gamma Ada SJU if you're interested in making a donation. And keep in mind that all donations for this clothing drive are due April 21st. The last OC meeting will take place April 27th. Location is currently TBD, but remember Johnny's, it is mandatory for all organizations to attend at least two of these OC meetings per semester in order to receive a budget for next term. So if your organization only attended one, then you need to make sure at least two e-board members from your organization attend this last meeting. Up next, we have SGI holding an event called Electric Storm on May 1st from 2 to 5 p.m. to celebrate the end of the semester and the academic year. There will be music, giveaways, food, and rides, so definitely remember to mark that date in your calendars. Seniors, this one's for you. Registration is still open for commencement, so remember you have until Monday, April 24th to register for graduation. After that date, it'll close, so remember to register for graduation before then. In yearbook news, let your parents know seniors that they can now purchase an ad in this year's yearbook up until May 11th. Like we announced the last time, senior week is expected to be from May 12th to May 17th or dates around that time. It's still currently TBD, but events for each day of the week have not been posted, but we will keep you updated. And remember that senior week isn't just for seniors, but all students of all different years can attend these events, so remember to keep an eye out for that. And lastly, you could still purchase academic attire for graduation at Heref Jones. Check the commencement page on the St. John's website to find the link with more information. That's it for the events of the week. Now, and with entertainment. Thanks, Courtney. Hey, Johnnies, here's some of your entertainment news for this week. New movie starring Nicolas Cage as Count Dracula called Renfield came out Friday, April 14th. So for any Halloween lovers, it is our time to prepare. And for our horror fans, as well as our Halloween fans, The Pope's Exorcist also came out on Friday. I think Friday the 14th is spooky enough, right? That's all I have for this week. See you next time, Johnnies. And now on to Nick with Sports. Thanks, Ange. And now on to sports. Well, the Stanley Cup playoffs are here, and at the time of recording, we're recording on Thursday, which is the second to last day of the regular season, as actually Friday is the last day. There's two games, but those don't really matter. But the big news is it's the first time since 2007 that the Rangers, Devils, and Islanders are all qualified for the playoffs. It's shaping up to be a really interesting postseason as the Rangers and the Devils may be playing each other. It's a very good chance we could see the first Hudson River rivalry playoff series in almost 11 years. The last time they, the last time these two teams versed each other was in the 2012 Eastern Conference Finals where the Devils 
beat the Rangers in six games, obviously off of the now iconic Adam Henrique overtime goal to send the Devils to the finals where they would eventually fall to the Kings. The Islanders, though, it seems they will have a big problem on their hands as it looks like they are going to verse the first-seeded Boston Bruins, who made history surpassing the Tampa Bay Lightning for the most wins in, a re in the regular season. Now on to the NBA playoffs. The Knicks and the Nets are both in the playoffs, so it should be a very interesting few weeks to see. We may possibly have a Knicks and Nets playoff series, which would be very interesting. Now on to the MLB. Well, it's still April. It's still very early. The Mets seem to be teeter-tottering, a little bit struggling. Some games they look good, some games they look awful. The Yankees are off to a good start, but it is very interesting to see how these teams will progress, and hopefully we could see another great season from both teams. And now, back to Courtney. Thank you, Nick, for that sports update. If your organization would like to be featured in a future episode of The Bulletin, you can either DM us on Instagram at theball.sju, or you can email us at theball.sju at gmail.com. That's it for this week's episode of The Bulletin, Johnnies. I'll see you next week. Bye.